Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and that is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear. I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to give you my personal recommendations for what I have read that has been published in 2022. You can consider these host recs for the readathon. And linked down below is the announcement video for me and my four co-hosts, which are Kristen over at Kristen L SFF Reader, Angela at the Science and Literature Alliance, Shannon for That So Po, and Rhea at the Book Finch. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you the picture of the book and then my rating, and this is just the straight Goodreads rating of the five stars, so there's no half stars included in this. When I update Storygraph, I do do half stars, but I don't on Goodreads. So to get started, my 2022 recommendations. First, I have Goliath by Tochi Anyabuchi, which I gave a four star to. So this is a literary sci-fi that is set in the near future, dealing with climate change and everything else. <laughs> about around it. It was a very interesting read and I wasn't sure if I liked it when I first finished, but now that I have read it, hearing more discussions about it has made me enjoy it more. So this is something I know I'm going to want to reread in the future, but I haven't yet. And this works for the title without articles, hard mode, because Goliath is a single word. It's by Tochian Yabuchi, is a BIPOC author. Genre bender, because it's a literary science fiction. LGBTQ plus rep. There are characters who fall under those items. And you can consider it a host rec. Now, I left that square orange because I read a lot of science fiction fantasy, and I don't know if you're the same way. So if you don't read a lot of science fiction fantasy, then it would work as hard mode because it would be something that you don't typically read. I then have Reclaim the Stars, which is a short story anthology edited by Zoreda Cordova, and I gave this four stars. And I just, I went through and I had rated each short story individually, and then I took the average of those to get the four stars. So there were some that I really, really enjoyed, and then some that I didn't, and some that were just in the middle. So this would work for a short story collection. All of them are from the Hispanic or Latinx diaspora. There were definitely authors in here that were new to me. Many of the stories feature LGBTQ plus rep. The non-US authors, there are at least two authors who were not born in the United States, whether or not they live here now. So I consider it non-US author, they weren't born here or don't live here, and you can consider it a host rec. Then I read The Kaiji Preservation Society by John Scalzi, and I gave this a four. This is a science fiction portal fantasy set at the beginning of the pandemic, and it is just a fun romp. Anybody who enjoys the monster movies, like Godzilla, is going to enjoy this. And Scalzi has, is turning out to be a favorite author for me. I just like how he writes. This does have LGBTQ plus rep in it, and it is a host rec. Then I read Perils of Sea and Sky by Lillian Horn. This might be considered a cheat because it doesn't come out till September officially, but I got an art copy. So if you're someone who gets an ARCs, it's possible that you can get an art copy from the publisher as well, or through NetGalley or however they're sending those out. This was one I really enjoyed. This deals a lot with Norwegian myths, I believe. There were a lot of fantasy elements that were familiar, but then were kind of turned slightly on their head. On top of it being like a steampunk technology world because you have sea ships that can also fly in the sky. Definitely am in interested in seeing what comes next from Lillian Horn. When I requested this, it was a book I had never heard before. This is a disabled author in her bio on her website she does say that she has a chronic illness it was new to me author and it's also this book is a first in a series has lgbtq plus rep a non-usa author debut and you consider it a host rep i then have august kitko and the mechas from space which i believe has been my favorite new release this year but i am a huge sucker for space opera so it works for me and this starts off with gus which is short for august who has been invited to play at a party that was supposed to be a victory party, but is now an end of the world party and is waiting for this giant mecha from space to come and kill everyone. It comes, Juliet comes, 
And then Grey Malkin, another mecha, comes and they start fighting. I guess hears them basically speaking to each other and he is a jazz pianist and he's hearing these different tones and decides to go play the piano and it catches Grey Malkin's attention. This was just a lot of fun. I haven't heard anyone talk about it and I know that this recently came out here in July. So it was a new to me author, which definitely want to go read more from them now. It is the start of a new series, LGBTQ plus rep all over it. And you can definitely consider this a host rec. And that is it for me and my host recs today. Also from my other video where I do the suggestions and my possible TBR, you can consider anything mentioned in there a host rec from me because they're books that I'm interested in reading. If you decide to pick up one of these or if you've read one of these, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you and have a great day.